Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to share some of the devices that I purchased in 2015 and I actually use these devices on a daily basis. And these are all non-smartphone uh, related devices. And uh, I also did a similar video in 2014 where I showcased some of the devices that I used in 2014 and quite a few of you liked it, hence I'm doing this video. And in fact, I used uh, still a lot of devices that I mentioned uh, last year. So you can check out that video, the link will be in the uh, YouTube show notes. Uh, so these uh, are, are the devices that I purchased in 2015. And these are going to be a little bit peculiar also because some of these devices that I purchased were to improve my YouTube video quality. So so I'll include them. Uh, and uh, the first uh, device that I got is a high-end Wi-Fi router. Uh, this is the ASUS uh, uh, 87U Wi-Fi router and this is a pretty high-end Wi-Fi router. It, uh, the con is that it is very expensive, I uh, think. I got this, I purchased this in uh, May of 2015 and I think so I purchased it for 21,000. And still uh, it is priced at around that price point, about 21 to 20,500. Uh, the good thing with this router is that again, as it's a high-end router, it's a dual band router supporting both the 2.4 gigahertz band as well as the Wi-Fi AC band. But the best thing about this router was that uh, it has the, what do you say, uh, highest Wi-Fi range that you get can get on a 2.4 gigahertz band. Even on the 5 gigahertz AC band, the Wi-Fi range was much higher compared to other Wi-Fi routers that I have tested. Uh, and also it performed actually very well. Uh, so if you want the highest Wi-Fi range, then uh, this is the router that you can have a look at. But one secret that I want to let you guys out, and I'm sure uh, Wi-Fi routers manufacturers will hate me for this, is that many people think that uh, these days you can get very good Wi-Fi routers for just around uh, uh, 1500 uh, rupees, that's around just about 20 to 25 dollars. Uh, but uh, many people think that if you invest in a high-end router like this, for example, this costs 20,000 and a normal router might cost, a decent normal router will cost just around 2000 rupees. So there's a price gap of around, uh, what do you say, 10 times. And many, many people think that if you purchase a very high-end router, uh, your Wi-Fi range will be like 5 6x compared to the uh, normal router that is not true actually yes these high-end routers can get a slightly higher Wi-Fi range but I would say uh, the Wi-Fi range increase is uh, just about uh, 35 to 45 percent uh, and I would say if you don't have very high end budgets for very high end routers and still if you have a Wi-Fi router and it can't cover your house I would say a cheaper way and a more efficient uh, way would be just to get a uh, cheap Wi-Fi repeater they just cost around 1200 1300 rupees and that way you can extend the Wi-Fi range it's not the idealistic solution but a lot cheaper if you just want uh, wider Wi-Fi coverage uh, so the next uh, uh, new uh, gadget and stuff that I got is I in installed actually a new AC in my office. And if uh, you have been following me for um, a long time, you might have noticed that uh, from 2015 onwards, the noise levels in this room has fallen down quite a bit. And I purchased this Daikin uh, inverter AC. And uh, one unique thing that this has is Currently still the AC is running, and uh, but still as you can see there is almost no noise. It has the silent mode. So whenever I do these stuff of re uh, kinds of recording and stuff, I put it on that silent mode. And even though the AC is running, it's almost dead silent. Uh, so it's ideal for doing recording and stuff. And also as it's an inverter AC, I have noticed that the power bills have come down significantly. Uh, also moving to one more uh, uh, accessory that I've started using recently. Uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker from uh, Logitech. That's the X50. And I uh, have started using this a lot. Uh, particularly I carry, uh, this is always there in my travel bag. I have been traveling lately a lot. And this is always in my travel bag. What I like is that it is very small and it has a normal micro USB port. So uh, you can charge it with your normal uh, cell phone chargers. And the sound output also is actually very good for the what do you say a size and it's also not very expensive i think so this cost just around uh, 1900 to 2000 rupees I, in fact i've also done a review of this on my channel in fact i'll post the links for all the other uh, what do you say uh, gadgets if i've done the unboxing or the reviews those will be in the show, uh, show notes so i really like this uh, logitech x50 because of its compact size and overall sound quality i won't say it's the best bluetooth speaker but considering the compact form factor and it's relatively light I started uh, using this a lot 
next is one more earphones uh, that I actually uh, tested and this is the Audio-Technica CLR 100 as you can see these are the earphones and the best part about this is that it's very very affordable they cost just 600 rupees I think so 600 to 650 rupees but the sound quality that you can get with this one is amazing and I, I actually have a lot of uh, earphones I have even earphones that cost 6000 rupees I have also one uh, from RHA that cost 14,500 and I have to say the sound quality that you get on this one is actually very good in fact I also have a Bose earphones uh, but I prefer this one while traveling and I use it uh, mostly uh, with the rough use uh, the con is that the build quality is not that great but it is lasting mean I think so I've been using this now for more than four or five months and the sound quality is the amazing thing about this uh, nothing can touch it I feel around this price point so if you want uh, what do you say good quality earphones and don't want to spend a bomb you can look at the Audio Technica CLR 100 I really like them but the con is that it does not have any microphone uh, next is uh, one more typical accessory. Uh, this is a not a smart watch. This is sort of a di digital watch. Uh, but the thing is that it also has a pedometer. So if you just wear it and you walk and stuff, it calculates how many steps you have walked and stuff. Uh, so I also like this and I also use this uh, quite a bit. Why I like this is that yes, I have uh, what do you say uh, trackers like the Mi Band and also this pretty expensive Jawbone Up 3. But the problem with those is that the battery dies on them very quickly for example on this up three the battery lasts for just about five days but i like that it can do heart rate tracking as it's a digital watch the battery on this does not die i think so it should last for a year or so so i really like this and i use it uh, to i am a person who just likes to know by the end of the day how much did i walk and it does the job for that I've, i think so i've also posted a review for this so you can check out that for more info and i think so this also costs uh 17 or 1800 rupees uh, next is the new camera that I got for my YouTube videos and that is the Panasonic GH4 and I would say almost 80% of the videos uh, that you see on my channel now are shot with this uh, Panasonic GH4 and I immediately noticed the bump in the quality after I started using this uh, camera. It's not a cheap uh, camera. Uh, it is uh, pretty expensive. I think so. I paid 1,65,000 for this one uh, when I got it uh, with the lens. Uh, so it's not a cheap camera but a very good camera and it can also record video in actually 4K. Uh, next is one more earphone that I got uh, that was for monitoring my audio uh, that is the Audio Technica MX40 and I actually use this uh, while working for example I recorded an audio track or something and I feel if it has a problem I just use this to monitor it and I can figure out any noise or stuff like that in fact it's so sensitive uh, I also pick up and hear sounds that I never actually notice normally and in fact it is also great for music I also started listening to music on this it sounds great on this and you start to hear uh, things that you never heard with your favorite sound tracks it's so sensitive uh, so this is the audio technica m40x i'm it's mostly in my office as you can see it's not very portable so it's mostly just connected uh, to my computer in the office and i use it for sound monitoring uh, next is one more uh, accessory that i purchased this year uh, that is this Aki, uh, as you can see this is a usb dock a charging dock and it has five usb ports you can actually charge five different usb devices with this one and uh, the thing is that uh, it also has qualcomm quick charging so this first port has qualcomm quick charging too so uh, i just connect a usb cable and if my devices support qualcomm quick charging i use this and as you can see you can charge actually uh, five devices simultaneously with this one uh, I really like this product and I've been using this daily but what I don't like about this product is the price actually uh, this uh, charger is sold in two variants one is this uh, Qualcomm uh, uh, quick charge certified uh, version which is the one I'm using but the problem with this version is that it is very expensive this version uh, cost almost 3500 rupees if you just get the normal version without the quick charging that is around just 1200 rupees uh, next uh, one more uh, new um, uh, computer that I bought this year uh, was the MacBook Pro 15 inches uh, for example if you follow me I upgraded from the Mac mini to this uh, MacBook Pro 15 inches and all the work that you see on my channel is being done with that one 
so that is one upgrade that i did in terms of my computer this year and uh, lastly i also used this uh, power bank from oneplus uh, it's always there again in my travel bag and I use this. Uh, what I like is that it has two USB ports so I can easily charge two devices simultaneously with this one. And also though it is having a good capacity that's a 10,000 milliamp hour, uh, then also it is not that heavy. But one big con with this uh, device is that it does not support pass through charging. So these were some of the gadgets uh, and stuff that I purchased in uh, 2015 and I use them on a daily basis. Um, I hope uh, uh, this video was helpful and again do let me know what are the new devices or the gadgets that you have purchased in 2015. Uh, so again guys uh, thanks for watching this video and links for uh, some of these products will be in the YouTube show notes so if you are interested uh, in more info you can check out that. Thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next next video.